I'm here on my roof overlooking downtown Fayetteville. In the past several days, there have been uh, several UFO sightings, and I'm taking up a post here tonight to see if uh, I can possibly sight some UFOs. I'm up here fairly early just at dusk, but it'll be dark soon, and that's when the UFOs come out. Uh, they come out like uh, bats or mosquitoes sometimes after it gets dark. Well, why would UFOs come to Fayetteville? And if you're like me, you like to believe there could be intelligent life someplace in the universe. And they could send down some kind of flying ship to check us out. But why would they come to Fayetteville, some say? Why would Fayetteville be a destination? Well, I believe it's because uh, Fayetteville was the first home of Bill and Hillary Clinton. Others say they are only trying to pick up chicks. They're sex maniacs from outer space. You might say politically incorrect extraterrestrials. Now as we scan the city, there's some of the landmarks of Fayetteville. There's the old courthouse. Sometimes I sit up here on my roof, I wonder what the heck are they doing down there in those rooms? Who knows? What looks like a light blinking there in the center of our screen. I can't tell if it's coming closer sometimes appears to me that it is getting closer and uh, moving in sometimes looks like it could be moving in fairly rapidly you know uh, flying saucers could fly it uh, there it has moved in very rapidly and it's now just off of old main and it seems to be headed in my direction here on the west side of mount sequoia yes it is definitely larger it is larger and uh, moving this way fairly rapidly. I don't know, I hope it doesn't get too close. I don't know what kind of aliens could be aboard that if there is life on board. Hey, yes, wait, it is definitely closer. It's a uh, circular, uh, looks kind of like a, a bat in some ways, but it's circular and it's very much closer to me and it's moving in here on Mount Sequoia fairly rapidly. There it is, it's circular, it's coming right up to me. UFO over Fayetteville, Arkansas. It was some kind of giant flying saucer, bigger than a football field, and it was shaped like a Big Mac. And inside it, hanging out, were partying sex maniacs. Don't be alarmed, now don't be alarmed. They want to carry off our women to their planet, but if they try to land, I'm armed, and I'll shoot up the damn thing out of the sky. Back up on the roof again, and I turn the light on for a few minutes, but I'm going to turn it off when we start looking for the UFO again tonight. The UFO kind of coming from the direction of Old Main from out west, so I'm looking for it, I'm sure there. I, I was almost certain we'd see it again. And here it comes, uh, headed toward Mount Sequoia, and uh, it's gonna come right up here again tonight. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The UFO, the flying saucer, um, who knows from where. And it appears to be, appears to be landing. It's landing. It's landed, it's coming up the stairs. Who are you, who are you? <laughs> we are builders and developers. <laughs> Where are you from? What planet are you from? We are from California. You might say planet Hollywood. <laughs> What, what do you want? Tell me. Don't hurt me. What do you want? <laughs> we want to build and develop. We want to cut trees, build freeways, pollute your air. <laughs> to rename Fayetteville 
Agni. As for neon creed and neon everywhere. <laughs> Please go back to where you came from. Go back and leave us in peace here in Fayetteville. We go now. But we return soon with more builders and developers from Planet Hollywood. <laughs> I'd like to report to you again tonight that a UFO has landed, has landed in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And now you can be alarmed because it's much, much worse than I previously reported to you. It was not full of sex maniacs coming to our city to carry off our women. It was instead filled with builders and developers from California. And they're coming here. They're coming here to cut down our trees and stop live music on Dixon Street. And now they have gone back. They have gone back to California to get a load of chainsaws and noise monitors. But don't worry. I have my trusty six-shooter, and if they come back to land again tomorrow night, I'm going to shoot them out of the sky. I mean business tonight. I got, I got my gun. I got it loaded. They'll be back. You can't keep developers with chainsaws out. They'll be flying in here any minute. You can bet on it. I think we'll have to wait long scanning these Fayetteville skies before we see the UFO from Planet Hollywood. There it is. There it is. I'm going to shoot it down if it comes up close to me here on Mount Sequoia because I've got my trusty six-shooter here, and he's moving this way, so stand by. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. My gun, my gun, my gun's kind of jammed here. My gun's jammed. I got to get, I, I think I'm getting, I've got my gun. He's going down. He's going down. He's going down. He's down. I got him. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's going down. He's down. I've dispatched a load of developers and builders from Planet Hollywood. I think that's the end of them, at least for now. I feel slay safe once again, at least temporarily. I've saved our city. I've saved our city again. What they're doing down there in the Hilton tonight. 